Bellwether EVTOL, free flight with Volar. Bellwether Industries, an urban air mobility UAM, startup in the United Kingdom, has completed its first test flight of its two-seat Volar EVTOL aircraft prototype in Dubai last month. The company said it will be ready to share a video of the test flight soon, but told EVTOL.com that it was able to log eight test flights with its half-scale model during the session, an accomplishment for the team that has now graduated from a year of indoor tethered flights. The EVTOL developer is targeting the private urban aircraft market for intercity travel, and has built the Volar as a compact vehicle with a hidden propulsion system. The final aircraft will measure 3.2 meters, 10.5 feet, wide, which is about 1.5 meters, 5 feet, wider than an average car. A lot of the problems we have is the vehicle doesn't look like an aircraft, so when people see it, they don't see how it could work or how it could fly, but it's real," said Kaitse Lin, chief operating officer and co-founder of Bellwether. Through the first test flight, Lin said the company has been able to demonstrate the vehicle's controllability. Compared to some of the bigger players in the EVTOL space, Bellwether is a younger startup, established in 2019 by four college classmates. But Lin and fellow co-founder Daniel Chen began experimenting in the space in 2013 when the duo started building their first hovercraft called the Gazelle, which made its debut at the International Young Designers Exhibition Yodex, in Taipei, Taiwan, in 2015. We made that model hover, but we couldn't make it fly because it was too heavy, Lin said. Nevertheless, he said that was an important milestone for the team to establish this idea of flying vehicles. We continued to develop the idea, and then we went to the UK to start a bigger team and a new project. Then we founded the company. Up until now, the startup has remained mum about its project, but recently decided to make public appearances at the DroneX trade show and her Taxi World Congress this fall and then more recently at the Dubai Air Show in November where its aircraft was shown to the public for the first time. These public appearances are vital steps for the company to draw investors for its next seed round. In addition to the $1 million US dollars that the company raised last year from angel investors, Bellwether said it needs to raise an undisclosed amount of funds to build a full-scale working prototype with integrated subsystems, as well as expand its engineering team. The current prototype is a 2-seat EVTOL, but Bellwether said its final vehicle will be a 4-5-seat aircraft that can transport families around traffic-congested cities.